you know, a lot. Uh, you know, after dropping that one in Missouri State, um, when uh, when we felt like you know we were, we were a better team than them, um, it, it was definitely frustration. I think mean, right after that game, we were so angry. We got up the next morning on Thursday, and we were already ready to, to get back on the field and play Irvine. And you know, Irvine was going to be a great test, um, and really, you know, be a test of our character and, and, and how we can respond. And uh, we responded really well tonight. Um, a little corner set. Is that something? I mean. What, what made that effective? Um, you know, we, we haven't run that actually that much this year. And actually, Coach just kind of changed that just for this game. Okay. Um, what changes? I mean, what, what Well, you know, usually we, we've had Greg or Jake Brown coming off the back post and we play a ball. We did that a couple times tonight. Okay. With Greg out with a concussion tonight. Um, kind of changed things up and tried to whip in a near post ball. Um, this team didn't really run a near post zone. So uh, it was a man to man marketing. And uh, we kind of felt like we can beat them to the ball and get a, a flick on. And I had a couple of those goals um, uh, last year, even two years ago. Just flick headers, and um, you don't have to be a great header of the ball as long as you just get in the right position and uh, get a flick. Um, let's talk a little bit about the way you respond and then tough loss, come home against a good team like this. Yeah, yeah. Happy, happy about that. No, definitely. Um, you know, Irvine's a real good team. They're going to win a lot of games, and. Uh, they're going to be very high in the RPI, I think, when it comes out uh, this next week. So, you know, when you talk about um, key victories, this is definitely one you're going to pick out in the season um, and definitely necessary to bounce back. Uh, great teams, we've kind of emphasized this, great teams don't lose twice. Um, and so, again, you know, after the Marin loss, we bounce back one in Wisconsin um, and here tonight uh, coming home and beating a good team this year. Ethan, talk about uh, talk about the hat trick. No hat trick for a Blue Jay in in seven years. Something you know, you've had a lot of multiple goal games. But how special is it just to to be able to join a, a really select club in creating history with three goals? Uh, it's it's pretty awesome. You know, when when I when I talk about uh, you know the, the I think the greats that have played here, the Brian Mullins, the Johnny Torres, is um, Julian Nash, which was the last one to have uh, Mike Tranchilla. Um, to be um, Put in the same uh, the same category as some of those guys now. Uh, it puts me uh, on a new level. I feel like and gives me a new level of respect. Um, it makes me pretty humble. I think about the whole the whole idea. And, and uh, you know, Coach Warman instilled that into me that you know players bigger than great. And uh, those guys set the path for us. And uh, it was great. It was a great atmosphere tonight. And um, you know, three, almost 4,000 fans tonight on a fall break. Uh, first week in a fall break. We couldn't ask for much more.